Welcome to the DC Superior Court e-access tutorial. To get started, please review the directions below. And for further assistance, click the e-access user guide in the sidebar to the left. The home page of e-access can be located at www.dccourts.gov slash e-access. In order to start, you must complete the image challenge below. After completing the challenge, click here to begin. This will bring you to the search page where you'll be able to enter a case number or a name. When entering a case number, make sure to enter the case number exactly as formatted, meaning the four-digit year followed by a space, then the proper case type such as CMD or CTF followed by another space, and finally, the entire six-digit case number, including all of the zeros. If your case number is not formatted in this manner exactly, you will receive the message saying, no matches were found. For example, when searching for the case number 207 ctf 099999 it would be entered 2017 space CTF space 0 Nine 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 nine. Your search for a specific case could return multiple results if the party's name has been entered multiple ways in the court system. Click on any of the results to access more detailed information about that case. Here you will find all relevant docket entries, other case information, and images of documents in many case types. Consult the eAccess user guide located on the home page for a list of case types that have images available. To access an image, click the image button, which will open a scan of the document in a new window. Please remember, while you can use eAccess in any internet browser, you must have Adobe Acrobat Reader in order to access document images. You may also conduct a search by party name or company name. To return to the search screen, click Search at the top of the page. When searching by name, you must enter both a first and last name or a company name. Be aware that when searching a name, there is a two-character minimum, and when searching a company, there is a three-character minimum. For example, you must enter at least SE when searching for Severus Smith. On the right-hand side of this screen, you'll find three categories that you can use to narrow your search results by case type, case status, or party type. The date of birth search range can also be used to narrow your search results when searching for a criminal case. If you use it to search for any other case type, it will show no results, even if there are in fact matches. In the bottom right-hand corner, you can narrow your search using the date of death search range when searching for a probate case. If you use it to search for any other case type, it will yield no results, even if there are in fact matches. You may also narrow your search by the date the case was filed here. This is available for any case type. You may arrange the search results by clicking any of the columns on the screen. For example, clicking File Date will rearrange the cases by the date in which they were filed. To open and view case information, simply click on the case number. This concludes the eAccess video tutorial. If at any time you have a question, refer back to the sidebar on the home page where you will find the eAccess user guide, a link to this video, and some frequently asked questions. We hope you find the DC Superior Court eAccess system helpful and easy to use. Thank you for watching.